um, in this video we're going to be um, finding IX and the voltage drop across the two ohm resistor using, using Ketchup's laws. You might have noticed something peculiar about the circuit which is the fact that it has no voltage sources and um, each loop seems to, call, um, to contain a current source which brings the question are we going to be solving this um, circuits without using um, KVL equations? Well, I guess we're about to find out. So let's proceed to the first um, step, which is to assign polarities to the uh, voltage drops. So we're assigning with respect to the 10 ohm current source, and this will be positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, and uh, positive, negative. Then, uh, the next thing we do is to assign current to all the branches. So this branch would be uh, having a current of I1. This would be I2. Call this I3. So we know that this branch current is uh, 10 amperes. This is for IX. So we can then proceed to write our first KCL equation. So let's call this node node one. So uh, we say at node one, the KCL equation, um, we have 10 amperes entering, I1 and I2 are leaving. So we say that uh, I1 plus I2 equals 10. Then we proceed to node two at node two which is here so we have i2 entering four ix entering then ix leaving so we know that um i1 e i1 uh, plus four ix four ix equals ix this simply means that um, I1 equals minus 3 Ix. Let's call this our second equation. This one our first. Then we go to node 2, no, no, node 3. That's node uh, 3. So, uh, okay, let's call this node 3. So we have 4 Ix living. I3 leaving and then uh, I2 entering. So uh, we can say that for Ix plus I3 equals I2. Equals I2. Let's call this our fourth equation. Uh, so um, next thing we want to do is to uh, write a KVL equation. Um, there's another way to visualize the circuit. You can also think of this circuit like this. Uh -huh. With current, um, say, 10 amperes feeding in air, uh, 10 amperes being fed out air. Um, 4 IX is entering air and 4 IX is leaving air. So if you look at it this way, it becomes easier for us to see the, to see a loop which we can use to write our KVL equation. So we can just write uh, a KVL equation like this. And then we have the last equation that we are looking for. So uh, we start from air and we have Let's call this loop loop one. So KVL at loop one. Then we say that uh, two I two. Then we calm down here. And that is I3. So we have 6 I3 plus 6 I3 
plus 6 i3 then we have minus 4 i x then um, minus 3 i1 equals 0 that's the k value equation then we can substitute this value into this equation then we would have um, 5 i x plus 2 i 2 plus 6 i 3 equals 0 let's call this the fifth equation okay oh, okay this is the third equation and this fourth equation doesn't really matter we can also uh, substitute this equation into the first equation that second equation into the first equation then we will have um, minus 3 i x plus i 2 equals 10 let's call this our fifth equation so we can solve 1 2 and um, 3 these three equations simultaneously using our calculator and we we'll derive as um uh, I x equals minus sixteen amperes. Um, I two equals minus thirty eight amperes. I three equals twenty six amperes. So that means that the voltage drop across uh, the two ohm resistor would be V equals two times thirty eight, which would be um, minus uh, seventy six volts, and that's how we solve for the meters.